Okay, dear students, let us see how are we going to do this question. A mass oscillates with simple harmonic motion of amplitude x naught. Its total energy is given by 16 joule. What is the kinetic energy of the mass when the displacement is x naught by 2? Now, displacement is half, literally. So, what is the kinetic energy? So, as per, like, uh, the mistakes are concerned. So, what is the biggest mistake people do here? Students think that, okay, displacement is half. So, it means that energy will be half. So, definitely the answer should be B, that is 8 joule. But that's not the right thing. Why? Because as per energy is concerned for the SHM motion, it is a parabolic variation. It's not linear variation. So, it will not be half. Rest, let us see how are we going to do this. So, first of all, what, the, what is the background of this knowledge? Background is like the total energy contained in the system. It will be equal to the maximum potential energy, which is going to happen at the extreme positions. And it is also equal to the maximum kinetic energy, which will be at the mean position. Now, the total energy is given as 16. So, total energy is given. So, either we are going to um, use the maximum potential energy at the extreme positions or the maximum kinetic energy at the mean position. So, let us see. So, I can say that total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy at any position. So, total energy is given as 16 and at x naught by 2 what will be the potential energy so it's easy we can find it here uh, half k in, in the place of x we would be taking x naught by 2 this is square but this is kinetic energy okay now the problem is we don't even know what is x naught that we have to find you see uh, total energy that is potential energy at extreme position is given so what is the potential energy this is half k x naught square so it is half okay and it is given as 16 joule so simply we can just replace this thing here so what is happening here 16 is equal to i can take this uh, 2 in the denominator and it has a square there so i can just multiply by 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 into half k x naught square plus kinetic energy and so this energy is given as 16. I can just replace it. So 16 is equal to 1 by 4 into 16 plus kinetic energy. So this will be 4. And from here we find that yes, kinetic energy is coming out to be 12 joule. Yes, so the answer should be C. So this is how we do it. As per the total energy is concerned in SHM, it is always the sum of instantaneous kinetic energy and the instantaneous potential energy but at the extreme positions kinetic energy becomes zero so we can say that the total potential energy is equal to the total energy and at the mean position the potential energy becomes zero so the total or the maximum possible kinetic energy is equal to the total energy all these formulas have been utilized here this is a general formula i can say which can be applied at any point at any point or at any position not uh, only at the extreme position or or mean position but at any position and thereby i substituted the values and i found that kinetic energy will be 12. okay dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also tell all your friends about this youtube channel all the best